Hello, I'm Dr. Joe Mills and this is the Society for Vascular Surgery Briefing. I would suspect that most of you are unaware of what Lucille Ball, Conway Twitty, George C. Scott, and Albert Einstein all had in common. Of course, they were famous individuals whose names are still widely recognized throughout the world. But did you know they all died of the same disease? No, they didn't die of a heart attack or cancer. They all died of a ruptured aortic aneurysm. I also suspect that many of you know little or nothing about aortic aneurysms. At this point, you are likely asking yourself, what is this disease? How can it be detected? And are there any effective treatments for it? The aorta is the largest blood vessel in the body. It is the major vessel into which the heart pumps blood. It curves backward behind the heart to lie against the spine, travels downward through the chest and abdomen, giving off branches to all the major organs on the way, until it branches just below the level of the navel to give off the major arteries to the legs. The portion of the aorta in the abdomen up against the spine is prone in some individuals to weaken, enlarge, and form an aneurysm. As an aneurysm enlarges, it's prone to burst. Since aneurysms lie in the very back of your abdomen, they are hidden from you and your doctor and are not usually detected on a routine physical. This is not a rare disease. It is estimated that 200,000 individuals in the United States have an abdominal aortic aneurysm, or AAA, many of whom are totally unaware of it. Who is at risk for this problem? At greatest risk are men over 60 years of age with a history of smoking. Women may also develop aneurysms, especially those from families with a history of this disease. As a large population of baby boomers reach retirement age, this disease is likely to become even more common. It has been further estimated that at least 15,000 people per year die of a ruptured aneurysm. Once rupture occurs, the chance of survival is less than 25%. Fortunately, the condition is easy to detect with a simple non-invasive test, an abdominal ultrasound. The test is safe, accurate, and does not involve the use of needles, dye, or radiation. If you are a man over 60 years of age with a history of smoking, heart disease, or other risk factors for vascular disease, such as high blood pressure, or if you are a woman over 60 years of age with a history of aneurysm in your family, or sudden unexplained death in your family, you should undergo an abdominal ultrasound to see if you have an aortic aneurysm. If such an aneurysm is detected, you should request referral to a specialist, a vascular surgeon. Vascular surgeons are experts in the management of aortic aneurysms. Small aneurysms can be followed safely with ultrasound or CAT scans to be sure they aren't growing. Once aneurysms reach five to five and a half centimeters in diameter, about the size of a small to medium sized orange, they should generally be repaired. Fortunately, many such aneurysms can be repaired with minimally invasive surgery, either with no incisions at all or small incisions in one or both groins. Some complex AAAs require abdominal surgery for repair. Vascular surgeons are experts in both techniques and both approaches have excellent results. The keys are early detection of AAA, close follow-up of individuals with small aneurysms, and careful selection of repair technique once the aneurysm reaches a critical size. I hope you now know more about AAAs. If you are at risk for this problem, please get screened with a simple non-invasive ultrasound test. If you are found to have an aneurysm, request referral to a board-certified vascular surgeon in your region. He or she can provide you with more information about your condition, arrange careful follow-up for smaller aneurysms, and perform repair to prevent rupture when indicated. Finally, if you smoke, please quit. Tobacco smoking causes cancer, lung disease, heart disease, and is associated with an increased risk of both the development of an aneurysm and having it rupture once it develops. You can't change your age or your genes, but you can stop smoking. This briefing was made possible through an educational grant from Cook Medical. For more information about AAA and other vascular diseases, please visit vascularweb.org. Thank you.